Hi YouTube, Edward Tyndall here, and Sarah Tyndall. This way, babe. Sarah Tyndall. Sarah Tyndall. <laughs> Isn't she lovely? Alright people, I've been getting a lot of comments about wanting a snake video, and I owe you guys one, but I want to give a special shout out to Bray White. I have, I have not forgotten you. This is the current state of the rattlesnake hides that I have. If you can see, it's it's really big. But I don't want to send it to you in this form. I got two of them. I'm going to do one for me and do one for you. Um, I'm looking for glycerin. Uh, I've got to get glycerin and denatured alcohol. I only have a little bit of denatured alcohol. That's what it calls for to be able to uh, do it. But I'm fixing to go out of town in a few days and I will uh, pick some up and I'll get on that. So don't worry about that too much. And I got an awesome story to tell you guys about something that's absolutely amazing. I am slowly but surely changing the world. Here you sit here, baby. Changing the world one person at a time. In this bag, I'll hold this for a minute. In this bag, I'm gonna let Sarah film for me. But in this bag is a snake. And the guy who got me this snake has been chopping off snake heads his entire life. Extremely, extremely religious. He's a deacon at a church and believes all snakes are evil. But after knowing me for 10 years, something has changed something in his mind. And with 10 men screaming to cut this snake's head off, he stopped them all. He lowered a bag on the ground, shooed this beautiful animal into this bag, and gave it to me to add to my collection. Instead of looking at it as a demon, he now looks at this as one of God's great creatures, which is 100% thumbs up for him. Thank you so much for not killing this beautiful animal. And now I'm able to sh share it with you guys. I'm down here in the kitchen right now uh, area. We're just going to use this little area. I've just pulled out air conditioning and stuff, so there's a little bit of debris back here. But it can go nowhere. I'll be dealing with this, and I'm just going to transfer it into this bucket when I'm done um, before putting it into his other enclosure. If y'all like this kind of video, you can look at uh, other rattlesnake videos. I think I have a playlist of rattlesnakes, if I'm not mistaken. Watch what's going on there. I'm going to step back a few steps. Back there. I'm going to set sticks there up. So. Nothing bad can happen. I do have my very professional snake hook, as you guys can see. Homemade, handmade. It is a uh, finder of things. I have not got a chance to look at here in here yet. Um, so I'm assuming that the snake is alive. I know it is a rattlesnake. If it's dead, then. I don't know, I'll probably shouldn't upload this video if that is the case, but it should not be. And I don't recommend just anyone um, handling rattlesnakes. They can be dangerous. As long as you just look at them, enjoy them in nature, and walk away, there should be no problem whatsoever. Oh, they got a double bag. I smell the smell of dog food. And I see the snake in a coil. Let me see that camera. I'll give it back to you in a moment. We have a light. There's a snake down in there. I'm not sure if he's alive yet or not. Is it? Yes, he is. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you guys. Let's see if we can count them rattlers, shall we? Wow. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and a button. That's my favorite number, people. Check out that big, beautiful head, flickering tongue. Around these parts where I live, it is very rare to find somebody that has had an encounter with a creature like this. And to have the creature still intact, that is absolutely amazing. I'm going to take this guy out so y'all can uh, look at him better. 13 and a button, sweetie. Watch out for buttons. All right. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey. Let's easily move him out of here. I don't know what his attitude or temperament is. We'll 
we'll find out though once we get him out. If anything's going to happen, it's going to happen out here, folks. Well, I checked this snake for defects, flaws, hurt spots, or anything of that nature. Try to get some close up views of him real quick. He's not rattling. As he's rattling now. Look at that. See that wide uh, body? This is a typical uh, stance. You see what happens? Look at what's happening. Look what's happening when a snake encounters a human. A rattlesnake. I've said this many times before, but they just simply want to get away. Check that out. I hope you're enjoying this video, Bray. Look at this. A rattle to let you know that he is aware of your presence and then trying to escape to keep from being killed that is one amazing thing that's what i was hoping would happen um that's why i kept all this debris and stuff here but he's not going to stay in this area i'm going to move some of this out of the way Slide you heard behind me was Sarah getting the hell out of the way. Just to make sure you can never be too safe. I'm gonna move some of this stuff so you guys can see. The beautiful animal. And remember guys, always have a body system when dealing with big snakes and venomous. Yes. Good things to remember, friends. Looking up, wondering. Yes. He's looking up, wondering what exactly is going on here. Anything this is dangerous stuff that I'm doing, so y'all be very cautious and weary. Those of you who do handle rattlesnakes, it is dangerous. He seems to be in perfect, perfect health. All right, I'm gonna try to get some good views of him real quick. I'm not gonna stress him out too much. I wanna get him here to let you guys know what he's gonna do. I made videos like this similar to before to let you know he's flat out, he's being loud. If a rattlesnake was bad and wanted to hurt someone, they would not be loud like that. They'd be very quiet, sneaky, like a snake in the grass sneak up on you and bite you. I'm going to use this camera to zoom in because I can't see from where I'm at if there's any damage. I see a couple rough scales. Maybe that head right there. Underneath. I'm not sure exactly how they caught him. But however they did, he's alive and if he has minor abrasions, it's better than being dead. He knows I'm here. He's absolutely beautiful. I'll leave in the comments below what you think and uh, no comments like they're out to get you and they want to kill you and everything else because as y'all clearly seen he was removed from his home environment by force he was put into a strange new home by strange creatures he may have never seen before the strange creatures being us and all he wants to do is just get away and move out of everyone's way and remember this type of snake the venom that he produces is used for heart medication. Heart, people that have heart problems and are on heart medication. Yep. So when you kill these guys, you're hurting the people that you love. Yep. Sure are. Also, this is a uh, cane break rattlesnake. They favor a timber rattler a lot, but it's a cane break. And, uh,. Somewhere along the line, the two might have got crossed up at some point. That uh, really dark black tail, y'all can see. Um, but uh, after this guy goes through a quarantine period, we will find out sex and maybe pair it to the uh, the one that I have 
already one of the two that I have already this one's about approximately the same size I like this pattern right here I'm gonna point out a certain pattern right here look at that it's like it's like a little no. person and then another little person only on that one side isn't that cool that's really amazing but y'all see I'm at my spot right here and he's at his spot we're opposite of each other that far away from each other about four foot and all he's doing is letting me know he is there and he does not want to be screwed with or he will bite me and uh, I don't want to aggravate or agitate him in any way and make him feel like he has to be uh, use his venom the last thing on earth they want to do is use their venom to bite off some big prey item like a human that they're not going to eat because in order for them to reproduce that venom they have to eat protein and if they run out of venom by wasting it on somebody like me messing with them then they have to feed off of their muscle to create more venom to be able to kill a rodent item because these are not constrictors and they cannot constrict their prey they depend solely on their venom to kill rats mice squirrels small rabbits and pretty much whatever they can get their mouth on smaller than them um, go film for me real quick I want to let everybody know I'm going to bucket this baby see how he's acting I want to zoom slightly sorry about the poor lighting hope y'all enjoyed the rattle sounds get in there you got it we won't be too long alright I'm going to show you guys how handle these very carefully. Are you on him seeing how he's acting? Yeah. Y'all see how he's trying to strike because I'm advancing on him? He does not want to be advanced on. I do not want him to bite this hook. I feel that he needs to. I'm just going to get him in a more manageable container. You're all right, baby. You're right. All right. I'm going to try to let him do everything on his own if he will. Pretty much on his own. Anyway. And not hurt his tail. You don't want him to hurt his tail. Sometimes I've had these in these buckets and they slam their tail in there and rip their right off. I don't want that to happen. And once I got to this point, head back, snap, snap, snap down tight. That is a proper way to rehouse potentially deadly venomous rattlesnake. I want to thank all you guys for spending 13 minutes of your time on my channel. Um, now's a good time to hit the like button, share, and subscribe if you're not. I appreciate it. I will be bringing you more videos in the future. Bray White, do not fret. I will be sending that your way soon, my friend. And we are still planning a trip to see you at some point. So hang tight. Peace and love, everyone. Peace and love.